So today I'm going to be talking about what you can do for your betta fish when you're going away on vacation so that you won't have to find anybody to take care of your betta fish for you. So this video is part of a series of videos on what you can do for your pets when going away on vacation. The playlist for these videos will be in the description if you want to go check out the other ones in case you have any of those pets. And the ideas I'm going to tell you in this video will only last like a week, so if your vacation is longer than a week, then you're probably going to want to find someone to take care of your fish for you. So today we're talking about what you can do for your betta fish when you're going away. Betta fish are very hardy fish. They can go several days without food, three days at the most. So if you have multiple betas, you're probably not going to want to buy automatic fish feeders for each individual tank. Although if you have one beta, then buying an automatic fish feeder would be a good idea. Here is a good fish feeder for a beta. It works really, really well. has really good reviews. But back to if you have several betas, if that's the case, then your best option would probably be to buy those sinking seven day lasting food blocks where it slowly dissolves and then it releases food. The food does not float up to the top, it stays at the bottom. So if your fish is used to eating food from the surface of the water, these sinking blocks probably won't work that well for your beta. So if you do have multiple betas, let's just hope you're only going away for a few days. Since again, betas can go at least three days without food. They can go a week without food, I mean they will survive, but after three days they're absolutely starving. <laughs> Before you leave, of course, make sure you do a big water change on their tank. And if you have betas in a divided tank, then you should put them in their own tanks just in case one of them gets sick. You don't want it getting the other one sick. Also, if you have uh, one of those homemade dividers, there's a chance the beta can go through it while you're away and attack the other beta. So make sure they're in their own tanks. And if you do have betas in a divided tank and that divided tank only has one heater, you can get a large bin, fill it with water, put the betas quarantine tanks in there, and then put the heater in the big tank as well so that it can keep both their tanks heated. But that is all I got for you on what you can do for your beta on vacation. Though you may have already thought of these ideas, I still hope it was a little helpful to you maybe. And uh, if it was, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and thanks for watching. Bye!